Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? It's Baller Mike here, back with another video. So today I'm be showing you guys which is the best build, best center build for NBHK20. Now, before we start the video, hit the like button and hit subscribe, and let's get into it. Now, the two most common build are the Interior Force and the Pain Beast. Now, you go to Park and you see a center. It's most likely to be a Paint Beast or an Interior Force. These two builds are the most common builds, especially for center. But the real question is, which of the builds are better? So basically this video is going to help you guys to determine which is the best center build. So today we're going to be comparing the stats of the two builds, which physical profile is better, and finally which is the better build to use. Now an interior force is a center build with all finishing, and a pain beast is a center build with a defensive and a finishing pie chart. Alright, let's start with the interior force. Now for the finishing attribute, by the way, this stats I'm going to show you is the, it could be modified with the height and weight, but this is just the default one. Now for the close shot, it starts at 63 and max it out to 95. The driving layup is 54 and max out to 78. Driving dunk, 54 and it's maxed out to 78. Standing dunk, 72 and it can max out to a 95. Now post hook, 63 and it can max out to a 95. Now when maxing all the finishing, it gives you 30 finishing badges. Now for the Pain Beast, the finishing attribute, again, this is a default attribute. Now starts the close shot starts at 59 and max out to a 88. Driving layup, 49 and max out to a 69. Driving dunk, 51 and max out to a 75. Standing dunk, 50 and then max out to a 95. A post took 47 and max out to a 80. And if you max all them out, you'll get a finishing badge of 22. So for finishing, interior force would win with having higher stats and higher badge. Now going to the shooting, this is again the interior force. Mid-range shot starts at 38, max it out to 62. Three-point shots, 33, max it out to 48. Free throw, 50, and max out to 71. And post fade, 55, and you can max it out to 85. And if you max out all your shooting attributes, your shooting badge will be 10. Now for the pain beast. Mid-range shot 36, max out to 62, three-point shot 33, max out to 48, free throws 50 and you max out to 71, post fade 43 and you can max it out to a 75, and if you max all your shooting attributes, you would have seven shooting badges. Again, for shooting, interior force would win with higher badge and a little better stats for shooting. Now, an interior force for pass accuracy, it starts at 43 and you can max it out to 70. Ball handle, 34, and you can max it out to 51. And post move, 46, and you can max it out to a 92. And as an interior force, you could have a 20 playmaking badge if you max out all the playmaking stats. Now for pain beast, pass accuracy starts at 41, and you can max it out to a 70. Ball handle, 33, and you can max it out to a 49. Post move, 38, and you can max it out to a 77. And if you max everything out, you'll have 12 playmaking badges. Now for the third time, an interior force would win with better stats and better badges. Alright, now for the defense and rebounding, an interior force. Interior defense would be 45 and you can max to a 80. Perimeter defense starts at 37, you can max to a 56. Lateral quickness, 35 and you can max to a 49. Steals, 28 and you can max to a 56. Block, 30 and you can max to a 77. Offensive rebound, 30, you can max to a 76. Defensive rebound starts at 30 and you can max it out to a 76 and if you upgrade all those stats You will have 15 defensive badges Now for pain beast defensive and rebounding Interior defense starts at 54 and you can max to a 88 Perimeter defense 42 and you can max to a 62 Lateral quickness 39 and you can max to a 54 Steel 38 and you can max to a 62 Block 48 and you can max to a 88. Offensive rebound 48 and you can max to a 87. Defensive rebound 48 and you can max to a 87. Again, if you upgrade to all those stats, you will have 26 defensive badges. Now for defense, Pain Beast wins with the better stats and more badges. Now that we're done the attributes of the Pain Beast and the interior force, let's move on to the physical profiles. So for the physical profile, as an interior force, you will need the max strength and max speed because it focuses on mostly uh, offense, so you need your strength and speed. And you would have 62 speed, 95 strength, 54 acceleration, and 46 vertical. So for the pain beast, I chose the all balanced out uh, attribute for the physical profile and it would have 62 speed, 95 strength, 55 acceleration, 56 
vertical so basically the pain beast would take the spot for the physical profile now overall which one is better the pain beast or the interior force now i have decided the interior force is a better build to have as a center the reasoning behind this is the pain beast is only better than the interior force with only the defensive attribute and the sum of physical attributes In the other stats finishing playmaking shooting the interior force is better than the pain beast and also the interior force was not even that bad at defense it has a decent stat but at the end of the day it's personal opinion if you feel like the pain beast is better drop it on the comment section below if why is it better but if you guys want me to do more of these videos please drop a like and subscribe and i'm out